What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys two new products from the last coat. And guys, if you're enjoying videos like this, and I hope you are, consider subscribing and clicking that bell. That way you get notifications each time these videos, ah, oh, that light. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So guys, the last coat, as you know, has an amazing spray sealant works extremely well. I've enjoyed the spray sealant. I've enjoyed the black ice. I've also enjoyed using the amp. Using all those products in conjunction, you get some incredible durability on your vehicle and the products are very easy to use. Very user friendly for the everyday consumer as well as the professional. But I wanna show you guys some new products that we got and how we used it on this vehicle. Now, this little Honda needed a lot of help with the trim as well as a lot of hard water spots on the windshield. So the first product I'm gonna show you guys is the last coat clearzer i still don't know how to say this clear sr clearzer it's basically a water spot remover so this stuff is pretty strong if you saw in our weekend wash click up on the card there you'll notice that we used it on our own vehicle but the spots on the paint of our avalon were a little bit different it wasn't just water spots it was sap and other junk from trees and this didn't quite remove that i couldn't really tackle that it's designed for mineral deposits or actual water spots that come from hard water like well water or sprinkler systems or something like that. But now you're gonna see how we use this stuff on this Honda Accord, especially on the windshield, where you have that super heavy buildup of water spots right below the windshield wipers. Now, the windshield cowl also needed a lot of help. It was super chalky and dried out. So after washing the vehicle, degreasing everything, it dries and still looks horrible. So we used Siratrim. Now we've been using this stuff for a couple of months now, and I have to say I really enjoy using it. Now this stuff is a great trim restorer, and it restored it incredibly well. Now I actually learned from a fellow detailer that with Siratrim, you want to apply at least two coats. Apply the first coat, let it soak into the plastic, then if you wanna wipe it down, you can, but let it really soak into that plastic for maybe 20, 30 minutes, you'll see when it's really starting to absorb and soak in. And then you want to apply a second coat. That's really going to bond and be your protective layer. And again, after that soaks in, then you can wipe off any residual and of course wipe it off the glass and the paint. And this stuff will last quite a few months. So let's show you guys how we used it on this Honda Accord. Let's use the water spot remover on this heavy mineral deposit buildup on the windshield. These areas will accumulate water from either rain or after the vehicle is washed and the water will sit there leaving this unsightly white chalky buildup. So spray the clearzer generously onto the area and rub the glass with an applicator or microfiber towel. Work the product until you notice the spots dissolving away. Rinse with water or a soaked towel to flush away the residue. You'll notice that it does its job in dissolving and removing that heavy buildup.
Next, we move on to the trim. It's in desperate need of restoring. So using the Cira trim, we apply onto a microfiber block applicator and work the product into the plastics. You can use whatever applicator you want. Just make sure to work it evenly, not missing any spots, especially under the windshield wiper arms. The plastic will start soaking it in and it will restore that rich, dark look. Let that first coat soak in and if needed, apply a second coat. Let that soak in and then remove any excess to achieve the desired appearance. So guys, pretty impressive results, I have to say. I really enjoyed using the ClearZer, especially on the windshield cowl. I was very impressed with how it removed those hard water stains on the windshield. All it took was literally 20 seconds of rubbing and it removed it. Now, don't be disappointed if this stuff doesn't remove every single type of water spot that you encounter. Some water spots are going to etch into the glass and into the paint. If they've been there for years, they're most likely not just going to come out with a chemical. You may need to abrade them, compound them, polish them, whatever you need to do, sometimes even wet sand them. But that's an extreme case. This is going to work on fresh water spots or maybe a few weeks or months old. It works exceptionally well on glass. It does work on paint, but again, remember, paint is softer than glass and it may etch into the paint, so it may not remove it completely. You might need to, like I said, abrade it or polish it. Now, the Cira trim really restored the cowl on this Accord. It did an incredible job, and the more I use this stuff, the more I enjoy it. Now, there are some pros and cons to this product. It does restore exceptionally well. However, if you don't like that thick, greasy formula, you may not like it, but don't let that be a deterrent. It was at first for us because we don't like that thick, greasy feeling when applying it to plastics, but it soaks into the plastic and it does an excellent job of restoring. So if you can get past the thick, greasy feel of the product, oh, but if you can get past that thick, greasy feel of the product, then you're really gonna like this stuff. So guys, if you wanna pick up the products, why does that light keep going out? 
So guys, if you wanna pick up the products, I'll have links down below. Go check them out for yourself if you are in the market for a good water spot remover and trim restore. These products work really well and I use them both in our mobile jobs as well as here in the garage shop. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with others who may enjoy it. Mm. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.